And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Yankees. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. So the New York Yankees have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, it'll be Marcus Strong. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different Maybe spots in the starting more, more. rotation. You've got to have people really round things out. Yeah. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. It's a good take. The next oh. pitch misses. The count now two, two and two. Two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Really good take, especially with two strikes. and misses it's a strikeout now there's a small sigh of relief right there I mean just to keep that speed off the base pass it's not just the pitcher it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base and that one is lifted in the air Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Marlins, Luis Arias. Foul ball. Arias, a former All-Star, 26 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Ball one. Next pitch is downstairs. I got one ball, one strike. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. And Back now in the Bronx. And today's starter, A.J. Puck. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the Here fastball and the changeup is huge. The Hitters, they have a hard time DJ. staying back. We go to the bottom oh, of the first. Hey, and you. stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. Hey. A big swing and a miss. All in one. pitch swing and a miss as he was late that time and he deals that one off the bad part of the bat just a lazy fly ball arrives makes the grab one down Juan Soto now so you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start hey. at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way oh, he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, one yeah. out, base is empty. Pitch misses, ball. and a count one and two. And that's in the dirt. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. 
Many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put them away did a nice job right there base hit that was smoke through the infield so a two out knock keeps the inning alive everything came together for him not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team at bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep into the outfield base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, clearly he was that ready to hit right there. Really the good swing thing. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Here is Glaber Torres. That ends the frame. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And that one wrapped foul. Stroman, a former Gold Glove winner, he features a sinker, a slur, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a slider. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Josh Bell stands in now and watches strike one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. LeMayhew drifts towards it, and there are two outs. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. Ah. Jesus Sanchez in the box now, no balls and a strike. The 0-2. Just missed. Another ball. Hey. Swings and misses. Marlins set down in order. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And a pitch. And a foul ball. You know, Boo, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle and right there clearly he was in swing mode but all you can do is hope to foul that off Gordon with the toss to first and that quickly two away swing and a pop up foul out of play off to the right side that'll find the stands the pitch. Way hey. out front for strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That well, one just misses. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That two misses. Ball. And two the count strike. is even two and two. And there's a the ball. The pitch. Hard hit left side. Tosses across the first. Three up, three down. Back in the Bronx. New inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Gordon. That one fouled off. And a oh, good eye there. Good. Got the back going too soon. It's oh, strike two. two and the righty deals. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And he hits a ground ball right side and it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And that one fouled off. Bounce to the left side. That ball foul. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. We're here in the three. top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one away. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto makes the catch. And there's two down. John Birdie at the plate. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Gordon off the first with two away. Foul ball there. Just oh, off the outside part of the plate. On the ground to third. Slings it across. That's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Puck back to work. Oh, Up and one. in, and it's one to know. You know, these Yankees definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These batters are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. And a 1-1. One -one. On the ground. On to first. That takes care of Grisham. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1 so far. The pitch. Late with the swing there. No ball, two strikes. And right. ball one to LeMayhew. Did get the result he wanted, but that's a nice pitch right there. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply hey. just beat a guy with only your fastball, on why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Left-hand hitter waits. Hey. There's a swing and a miss. Ahead 0-2 of the two count. Down. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at-bat over with as quickly as possible. Hey. Right through there. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he started the fourth. And now the DH, Brian De La Cruz. Pass ball for a strike. 1 1. De La Cruz, 27 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. 1 up, 1 down. Luis Arise stands in. Hey. Move. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Right into the plate. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Rip to third. Whips it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. And that one sliced foul. All tied up here in the third and final game of the series. That's in there. That is strike two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. A wide to kick the pitch. That's out to center field. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning.
Josh Bell at the plate now. That Nine. one's in there, and it's 0-1. Fourth inning underway, no score. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here comes the 0-1. And one this one, one squirts away from the catcher. To third, oh, not in time. He's safe. It's second and third with two gone. Going to have to buckle down and make a pitch or two to get out of this little jam he's worked himself into after the two-out hit and in that wild pitch. Good time to step off and take a deep breath. The one-two. Just misses without one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one just misses. Three and two now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here in New York, here comes Aaron Judge. As the lefty gets to work, and ball one to Judge. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia on his way over. Drops into the glove. One away. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Oh. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Right through there for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake butt, do something to break it up. Next pitch just misses. And that's ball two. At the belt and fires. I got three and two. And that's ball four. That's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Torres batting for the second time, and that's strike one. High fly ball, right field. And Glaber Torres retired. Two down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Hey. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Move. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. If you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. And he'll won. And nope. ball nope. one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Just misses. And it's two and two. Left hand batter waits. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Gordon. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, go. and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Field two. Left field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. 
In the air, left field. Christian makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's Kirk Casale. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Two out spaces empty. And a foul ball. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Tattooed and gone. He'll circle the bases, and it gives them the lead in the fifth. It's 1 0. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay now here is John Birdie in the first pitch misses for ball one two down base is empty but one run across and we're at the top of the fifth in for a strike and a count one and one The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Two outs. That one ripped. Hits the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time. He's safe. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. De La Cruz in the box again, takes a strike. Hey, bro, see, that's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Right-hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Here comes a pitch. That's the third. LeMahieu is there. Fires across the diamond. They limit the damage here. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. And the home team down a run. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton is set to get us started. Bottom five, Jose Trevino. Puck back to work. Right through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And that one in the air center field. And there's one away. So digging in, Anthony Volpe grounded out his first time. Ball one there. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. One and one. And a pitch. Up the middle. And it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. All over that one right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. He elevates that. Runner takes off. off the pitch misses ball. in. Throw to second and great jump. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. That stolen base. Excellent call. Now, all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And another ball. Two balls. One strike. On the ground to third. And he gets by him. Just a simple ground ball the other way, but had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Tying runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. Nope. That would oh, strand him and in the inning. LeMayhew up to bat next. Lays off for ball. Oh. 
up and in 2 and 0. Oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch if you leave something. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but now a competitor like no him, he is looking forward to oh. making up for it in his next at bat. No, no. Oh. Up the middle. That's the inning. That's an out. Back for more from the Bronx. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. Fall off foul. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the He's pitcher out. covering. And a quick out number one. Next to hit, Jazz Chisholm Jr. That one lifted to left. Grisham settles under it. That's out number two. Here's Josh Bell. And first offering is fouled off. Popped in the air. Left field. And that'll do it. So they go. Back in the Bronx. And, go, and now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And here it comes. That clips a corner. That was just eight on the first pitch fastball. Judge over the top. Good late oh, sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That misses. And it's one and two. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Kicks and deals. This one smacked out to left center. Sanchez makes the grab on the run. And now it's John Carlos Stanton. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. The Yanks trailing by a run here at the bottom of the sixth. In the air, out towards left center. And there's two down. Here comes Glaber Torres. That's yep, off the mark. Out. One and oh. The Fish leading by a run here in the third and final game of the series. Out towards right center. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Sixto Sanchez. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And now it's going to be Anthony Rizzo. First oh, pitch misses. On the corner for a strike. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Oscar Brazobar appears to be getting loose. Weathers getting cranked up as well. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Torres at second with two down. That one not close. Two and two. And there's a ball. That's a really good take.
kicks and fires. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Man on second, two down. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. That's the third. Back now in the Bronx. Here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Got him. And one ball. Now, a tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Three. Swings over the splitter for strike three. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just oh, drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. That one finds the zone, one and it's a one and one. one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. The line strike. of the pitch. Up the middle. Tosses to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. Back in New York. Here's Jose Trevino. And he deals. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Cold night tonight, Berg, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Brings it in, and there's one down. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard, you understand the situation, you want to get on base and try to score that tight end run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Next oh, offering dude. is down low. Nice. Swing and a miss. Ooh, nasty oh, changeup right. right there. Down. Just had him out in front. Hey. That one's in there. Two and two now. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Liner caught it second. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you. screws than he did and yet he's got nothing to show for it hang with him I know the feeling looking to get the tying run on base tapped at the plate but it's a foul ball and the right hander deals and there's a rocket into the outfield Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the hey, You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And that's in for a strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Right side. Bell handles the chance. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So coming into the game now on defense, Oswald Peraza. He's the new third baseman. New pitcher for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. 
Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Next offering is downstairs. Just missed. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this event turns out. Next pitch in for a strike and a full countdown. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Verdugo snags it, and there's one down. Back to the top of the Miami order. John Birdie digs in now. Swing and a miss as he was out Hold front. One. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Rizzo. Now two out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Dela Cruz in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called one. strike. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball, and the count one even one and one. And he swings over the top there. One ball. Two down, nobody <laughs> on. Here in the third Three. and final game of the series. And down on strikes. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Nardi. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Miami's bullpen with some action. Anthony Bender, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. That's hard hit on the line. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Judge in the box now. Take strike one. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. A way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Great on that fastball. Holding on to a one-run lead near the bottom half of the eighth inning. See if he could get Judge to chase right there. Now one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a low two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Late that time, and it's strike two. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Scott Efros. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Bounced up the middle. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Here goes the runner. That's towards center. Judge has it sized up. He's got it, and there's two away. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Oh, and downstairs. Gets the slider in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that one lifted in the air center field. Judge is under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Tanner Scott. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton.
Pitch nope. misses, and the count is one, one and two. two. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read two his ball. lips saying, that's not up. Wouldn't Three. chase that time. Anthony Rizzo waits on deck. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Rizzo in the box now, takes strike one. On the corner for a strike, only oh, two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Trevino in the box now, takes strike one. Not one. even close there. One ball, one strike. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.